Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Steven. Today we're going to talk about some of the tests that you might have to take as a CML survivor. This is not a full list of the tests, but the most common ones. It's important to know what tests you'll have to take and what they measure to know what you might have to expect as a CML survivor. If you want to learn more about CML and living a healthy life with CML, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. So here we have today Stephen, who is a 10-year survivor of CML. He's also been in treatment-free remission for over two years. There are several blood tests that you will pretty much have every time you have a test. These are the CBC, the differential, and the chemistry profile. CBC stands for Complete Blood Count. This looks at the counts of the white cells, which fight infection, the red cells, which carry oxygen, and the platelets, which control bleeding. The differential takes those white blood cells and splits them into the five components of the white blood cells. The neutrophils, the lymphocytes, the monocytes, the eosinophils, and the basophils. The differential will show the absolute number of each of those types of cells, plus the relative percentage. The chemistry test looks at the substances in the blood, such as the liver and the kidney. In the CML survivor, you will have many blood tests. I mean, it is a blood disease after all, so, you know, makes a lot of sense, right? Along with the blood test, you also have a bone marrow at a minimum at diagnosis. This is required to diagnose CML and help to identify what phase you're in. There are two components to a bone marrow and your experience may vary. There's an aspiration where we take, where liquid is taken out and there's a biopsy where a piece of the marrow is taken out. When I had my bone marrow the first time, I had both. I had an aspiration done and then a biopsy done. So I was poked twice. It was fun. No, not really. I was on a trial and I had to have bone marrows every three months for the first year and every six months for the second year, but that's very rare. I think nowadays it's maybe at diagnosis and then maybe once or two more times depending on the, on the trajectory of your treatment. Another test that you'll get done through blood is called the PCR, also known as the polymerase chain reaction. You may know of PCR when talking about COVID because it's one of the common COVID effect tests. But the reality is, is PCR has been a key part of CML testing for much longer than COVID was or has been around. The PCR is a very sensitive blood test that can find one CML positive cell within a sampling of 100,000 cells. It can be done in either the blood or the marrow. I usually have my PCRs done through blood. In the first couple years, I had it every three months, and then I moved to six months. When I stopped my treatment after eight years, I had PCRs every two months or so in the first year and then every three months in the second year. Now that I'm in my third year of treatment free remission, I have PCRs every six months. It's important to get educated about this disease if you're a CML survivor or a caregiver. And when you get educated, you can be better prepared and feel more comfortable to know what you might experience as a survivor. Thank you for watching today. Together we heal.